Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7 I'm here to give you guys a app review today for the iPhone and iPod Touch called Vingo. Uh, this is like a Siri type app, and what it is is basically an app that you can speak a uh, voice commands to, and it makes your phone do, do certain things. It's not gonna be just like Siri that you can hold the button down, but it sort of like takes uh, the same concept of it, but it's also built into an app, which I think is kind of cool. So the app is free right now in the App Store. I'll put a link for it down in the description, and it also works on the iPad for those wondering. So, the app icon for it is right here. It's basically, it has some sound waves coming off by a little order, but I think it looks kind of cool. It sort of symbolizes voice, which is uh, app uh, is clearly centered around. So, let's jump right into it. Now, while this app boots up, I do want to mention I am running the iOS 5 Golden Master Edition. Uh, so, things might run a little bit slow compared to if you're running uh, iOS, I think it's 4.3.6, I believe. Um, so if you're running that or the latest version of iOS, it might be um, slower or faster compared uh, comparing on what you're running. But I'm running iOS 5, uh, Golden Master Edition. So basically what you have here is you have a big button that says uh, press to speak. So that's what you do to initiate a voice command. And then down here you get little um, sayings that you can say. It says, um, find, Joe's, uh, find Joe's Stone Crab in Miami Beach. Um, I believe that's what it says. I'm not looking at my iPhone dead on, so I can't really... Make out what it says, but I believe that's what it says. So you can just um, give it directions. Uh, find 3 East uh, 50, 53rd Street in Manhattan. Um, call Ron the mobile phone. Uh, again, and if you tap on this, um, it gives you a whole list of things you can do. So the possibilities are endless, and if you want to find out something, uh, you can just tap on it. And you can um, it gives you a whole variety of um, sayings you can say to it. Um, so what I'm gonna do, in the, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you an example of how this works. I'm gonna do a plain simple Google search. Google Apple, and then once you're done, you hit the stop button, and then here you go. You get a whole bunch of search search results um, for Apple. Um, if you want, you can click the action button, and you can open it in Safari if you want to. But um, this web browser works pretty good. So I'm gonna head back, and now I'm gonna do another thing, like post a Twitter update. Twitter update, making a new video. It's thinking. Sometimes it takes a little while. And it didn't really make out that update. And if it didn't make up the update, you can um, delete it and whatever you want in it with the keyboard. I believe if you hit this microphone, you can dictate it. But it doesn't seem to be working in the iOS 5 GM. So we're gonna cancel that and we're gonna head back. Yes, we're gonna cancel that. So I'm just gonna do a few more things to demonstrate. Um, I'm gonna do another. Uh, I'm gonna do an email. Email Apple Gamer twenty four seven. Subject: Hello. As you can see, it emails me and then the subject is hello. So this app is very useful for um, just uh, if you want to like a, a taste of Siri before it comes out. This is a way to get around it. Um, it's also available on Android. I don't I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning, but it's also available on Android. Um, one thing I would like it to do is that I would like it to see maybe with um, Notification Center um, if you could add a widget in here so you can um, add a widget and it automatic if you press the widget it can do it for you without having to load the app if you're on a iPhone 4 or 3GS so that's something that I consider and also I'd like to see um, more commands come out like if I say maps um, I can uh, I can tell the directions and it automatically jumps into the maps application without having to load a Google map page so that's something I also like to see and just a whole bunch of other things um, I'd like to see Wikipedia support and also some of the stuff that Apple re recommended with Siri so yeah guys, that's basically about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you guys in the next video.